Hey everyone, this is Stevie here, and today we're going to be making a handle for a cup. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because it actually includes a lot of the techniques that we were just going through in, in the last week. So we've got, we're going to be using a loft, we're going to be using a revolve, and we're going to be constructing an offset plane, and we're going to be using a couple other commands. So it, it really does actually make a lot of sense to do this. So let's say I found some dimensions for like a 16 ounce cup online so we're going to create a sketch on this first plane here I'm going to choose a base of 57 millimeters and press enter and then I'm going to hit finish sketch next thing I want to do is I know that the height of it is 125 millimeters and that the top is 92 millimeters so what I'm going to do is construct an offset plane from this face here and I'm going to go up by 125. We're going to press enter and now we're going to actually create a new sketch on top of this plane here. So we will go here and select we need what 95 millimeters and again the important part is having that center point right over the center point of the other circle so that they are concentric. We'll hit finish sketch and now we're going to use our loft tool. So we'll click loft and we'll select this one and this one and we will press OK. And now we have lofted between the two creating our cup. Now next thing we can do to make this more like a cup is go to here to shell and click here and then we'll make it one millimeter thick. Now we have a cup basically. So next thing we want to do is create a new sketch inside this cup halfway in the middle of it. So directly in the middle. So we'll click on this sketch right here. We'll slice this and to be able to use this as a reference, so like if you take a look right now, when we try to sketch on this, it doesn't snap to that drawing. You may think it does, but it's really just snapping to the um, grid here. So to actually be able to reference this, we have to go to create, project, and we have to choose intersect. We're going to click on that and press OK. Now when we run our, high, or our cursor over it, see how it's stuck to it the whole time? That's good. That's exactly what we wanted. So I want to make this from the bottom 100 millimeters to the very top of our handle. So then we'll go out here and end it right there. Perfect. So next we're going to be drawing a line for our handle. Uh, so this will be the base that wraps around the entire cup. So we'll select here and then go down, let's say, 40 millimeters. Actually, we'll do 25. It doesn't need to be super thick. <laughs> I did something wrong there. Let's click on this dimension. What did I put? 4,025. All right, that's a little long, so we'll do 25 there. <laughs> Perfect. guess I accidentally typed in 40 first. So next what we're going to do is we will click on line, we'll draw it out, let's say 10 millimeters, and this will be the handle part of it. We'll do an arc, three point arc, somewhere like let's match it with the base here, and then make it tangent. So see that tangent, that's pretty important. That means that this will be a smooth transition. If it wasn't tangent, it would have looked weird. So one other thing that I want to do is make this guy right here be kind of like that. You know what I'm saying? We want it to be vertical, essentially, tangent with the vertical. So we can actually just draw a line straight from here. And I'm going to select, uh, this is already going to be constrained as vertical. So that means that we can just select tangent right here and make it tangent to that. And now it's perfect. We can delete this if we wanted to, or we could have just made this a construction line. So that way, this is constrained to be vertical, which means we can move it up and down, left and right, but it will always be perfect, perfectly perpendicular to the horizontal. So now that we have that, we're going to offset all of this. We'll click offset here, and we're just going to do, let's say four millimeters, minus four, and press enter. Now all we have to do to finish up is connect all of our lines. Because once we connect this last one, boom, it's shaded. And that's good, that's what we wanted. 
The next thing is when we're going to be revolving this, we don't want the handle to go all the way around. And since it's only one sketch right here, it won't know how to differentiate between like the handle and the base part. So we're going to go to modify and we're going to click extend. We're just going to extend this guy all the way up. And now we have these two different profiles. So we'll hit finish sketch. And now we're going to revolve. So we'll click here and select our profile. And then we're going to select axis and choose our vertical axis here. We want to operate as a new body, not as a join. Otherwise, it'll be stuck to our cup. So we'll click OK. Just to show the difference between the two, I'll press A, get appearance, and select glass and put it over there because clear plastic is basically the same look. So we'll close that. And now we want to make that handle part. Well, the handle's gone. So <laughs> let's go to our sketches and we'll open up our sketches and click on the third sketch there. Now we have our handle here. So let's go and actually revolve this handle. We'll select it and we'll select two sides this time. Well, not two sides, but actually symmetric. And when we do that, that's going to allow us to rotate this around. The axis of rotation will be this. And now, see, we have 360 degrees. We don't want that. We want something much less. Like 10 degrees, that means it's 20 degrees overall around. So let's do, let's do eight, and that means it'll be 16 degrees. So we'll press okay. We'll turn off our sketch because it's in the way. And now let's actually make this a little bit more usable. So we can go to fill it and we'll select filleting. Oh, we will fill it this here and not that. There we go. Just make it nice and even. Looks good there. And then we'll want to bring these these two sides and this bottom out so that way it's a little bit more structurally sound because not only can filleting remove material but it can also add it too and in doing this nope don't want that part just want this part in doing that we can actually make it a little bit more sturdy because when it's rolled out like that it's going to avoid having a sharp edge where it could be brittle and we'll click OK and there we go I think that that's pretty good for our handle. So now we have developed a little handle for our cups. It makes it look nice and easy to use. And I think that that was a pretty good demonstration on several different techniques, including lofting, making an offset plane, and revolving. Three techniques which are pretty commonly used, especially when you're getting into more complex modeling. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, comment down below in the, in the video, and we'll see you in the next video.